What's up ladies and gentlemen, FF Dev here, and today we're going to be setting up Enet to use with SFML in order to create a multiplayer game. So what you want to do is go to this website right here, I'll put the link in the description, enet.bestspin.org slash downloads.html. This is for Windows by the way. So when you're on this page, you want to go to, as of the time of making this video, it says the most stable release can be downloaded here. I've already downloaded it, and uh, after you download it, you can extract it, and um, let me see. Uh, after I downloaded it, because uh, it's going to be going in our SFML project, of course, I've already created a project. I just named it Enet Setup, but you'll probably want to name yours Multiplayer Game, since that's what we're going to be creating. And I have a dedicated video for setting up SFML and getting started with it. I'll have that in the description below so if you haven't watched that video and got SFML set up yet go watch that and then come back to this so anyways after you get to that what I'm gonna what you want to do is uh, copy your enet folder after you extract it then you want to right click on your solution go to open folder and file explorer and I went ahead and pasted the enet the extracted folder in here and then from in there I'm just going to go ahead and take out this include. I could just use it in here, but to make things simple, I could just leave it in here. Why not? So I'm going to get this include folder, enet, and because I'm going to be moving from my uh, directory, from the solution, I only need to copy from here in our basic folder. If you're wondering where that's at for yours, it should be like once you get to multiplayer game, if that's what you name, where you can see your solution, anything past that to the include folder. All right, after we get that, we can right click on our project after you copy that path. Go to properties, oh, not our project, excuse me, our solution, properties, C, C++, include additional directories we're going to edit that and because of course you know this already has my sfml included we're going to click the folder create a new one and we're going to use the macro here dollar sign solution dir and then you can just paste that in enet slash include enet all right we got that here Go ahead and hit apply. Make sure you're on all configurations and make sure you're on the right platform. I'm using 64-bit SFML and this is 64-bit Enet that I'm using, but it comes with the libraries for each one, depending on which one you want to use. All right, so after that, you'll want to go to linker, input, additional dependencies. We'll go ahead and go to edit. I'll go ahead and click cancel real quick so I can see what we got. We'll just go ahead and close that for a minute. We had to double check to make sure that we're doing this right. Um, let's see where the library is at. I don't like the way it's set up necessarily. So I'm going to create a folder in here called lib. Because there's files in here to set it up many different ways. <clears throat> but we don't need all of those. So for me personally, um, I'm just going to copy this enet64.lib and post it, paste it in that lib folder I found. And let me double check if you're ever wondering about something, you, you can always look at the installation. So we'll check at it right now. It tells how to install on different operating systems, but because we're going to be installing it statically, I'm just going to use the enet. 64.lib all right so that should work so now that we have double check I got that in there we'll write we'll go to our properties on our solution under linker under input additional dependencies make sure you're on all configurations and mine's on x64 because that's the uh, platform I'm doing I want to um Let's see. Oh, I don't think that's not under input. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's that's wrong. Go back, go to under linker, go to general. All right. 
Now, under general, we're going to add a new folder. Or click the folder button to create a new line. Now we're going to use our macro. Dollar sign solution. Dir. And then it's going to be the same as our other one. But, uh oh. Let me paste that. It's going to be almost the same as our other one. I think it was enet. Then the slash. Make sure you got the right slash. It's the one above the enter key. Enet. Uh, and I think I put it in lib. Pretty sure I did. Solution, dirt, enet, lib. And if you're ever wondering about something, you know, if you're ever not sure, like it's, there's nothing wrong with double and tri triple checking. Just to make sure I right, enet setup. All right, so, so from the solution directory, enet lib and all right it's in there enet 64.lib now we can go back to our properties on our solution and now we can go to input under additional dependencies um, this is different options because I have the debug and stuff for SFML but we're just gonna leave this on all configurations for this and type in enet 64 dot lib and we'll double check what the website says that's what it is all right enet64 dot lib and also because we're going to be using some windows functions that we need or windows libraries the winsock2 libraries you can just copy this directly from right here from installation the ws2 underscore 32 dot lib so we'll pull our project back up and press enter go ahead and paste that ws2 underscore 32 dot lib go back to this page and it says winmm dot lib we can go ahead and copy this go back to our project paste that in click on ok and apply and see if that's everything we got to set up this is the way we're setting it up all right i'll just go ahead and minimize this for now Click on OK, and now it's time to see if it actually works. So you'll want to put hashtag include enet.h. I think I can include it that way, or I can do it like this because it's directly in the solution, enet.h that way. And if everything goes right, we should be able to compile and not get a million errors, in which we did get some errors. So what you want to do now is uh, right click, go to properties after you have right clicked on your solution name, go back to C slash C++ under general. You're going to want to go to additional include directories. And just right here where we included enet slash include enet, you just want to delete the last enet and leave it just the enet include. Because without that, it's not properly getting the header files. And after you do that, all we simply got to do is put hashtag include enet and then enet.h. Then we can hit local Windows debugger or whatever, compile it, and our window works. And so that means that our um, enet is set up properly. And this is just the setup video just to get it installed where you don't have no errors at all. We're going to make sure you do this first. In the next video, I'll, I'll begin showing you how to structure your code for the game. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below if you have any questions. And like I said, I'll have the link to how to set SFML up down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.